trick mode. So. Orientation control is the first true orientation locking app that can lock the orientation. Mm -hmm. It locks. It has to lock it. Mm -hmm. So it has to be able to go into it. Well, no. So you, well, the impression I get is you have it in landscape mode, hit the lock, then hit the app. Huh. I wonder how that would work. I don't know. I was going to try it before we got here, but I got a phone that's on update six out of 11 and it's only 23 percent done 24 now 25 it's been going for 20 minutes you're doing updates on your phone i'm doing something we'll talk about that later <laughs> <laughs> okay um i want to try this app if it works at all next week sean i'll come back and I'll, I'll definitely let you know i'm gonna it's bet got... i hope i'm wrong but i'm gonna bet that it has to whatever orientation it's in it will lock that I know, but don't bring me down. I'm man. sorry, dude. Okay, fine. I hope it doesn't. I hope it works like you said. That's what I, that's what I'm thinking it might do. But I mean, it's got great uh, reviews. <laughs> but yeah, like you said, Steve. Like yeah, maybe you put it into to, you know landscape, and then you hit this, and okay, now it's no matter what, it's not gonna. Because I know sometimes I'll put my phone down if I'm looking at it in landscape, and then it flips into port. I got to move the phone and shake it around and. There, there's another one that I have to look it up to because every time when I try to sideload uh, apps onto my review, I get a lot of crashes where they won't work because of situations like this. And someone had told me to get basically it was it was it was a, something that would force it into the other. I gotta I gotta look it up. I know I've come across this, but even that still being said, we should not have to work this hard for that. I agree. they need to fix it yeah especially if they're putting billboards up for it it's lame yeah i mean i mean yeah, true nine out of ten people driving by they they don't know how to do you know stuff like this yeah definitely all righty what else okay. you got through anything um okay now every now and then in dog catcher when i go to play an aug file it won't play no matter what I can take the um, Presto plugin, turn it, turn it all the way off, try to play the file, and it still will not play in Dog Catcher, and it makes me upset. Granted, it's not many; it's always the same feeds, and it's only every so often. But when it happens, blood boils, and since now well, I'm on high blood pressure medicine, it doesn't help. Um, okay, here's the ultimate pain. Here's the ultimate thorn in the side. You hold down that in Dog Catcher, and you get a pop-up menu. You can then say, play in external player, okay? Virtually every external player that you pick, once that loses focuses, it stops playing, which makes it useless. So if I'm listening to a thing and an email comes, I can't check it. I gotta wait for the mm -hmm. show to stop. Okay, come to the rescue, this uh, music player called N7 Player music player which is kind of redundant terms there but that's what it's called n7 um, mobile okay yeah by n7 mobile um to be honest this app does a lot more than what i'm saying okay it actually does um does weird um can't remember what the word is cloud stuff of songs the more songs you have by a group the bigger it is on this one screen it looks web 2.0-ish. Uh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, now, the only problem I encountered was when I play a song to get the actual progress meter so I could slide fast forward, slide and rewind, I had to, I had to disable my widget locker because widget locker took over the lock screen. So if I disable widget locker, then lock the phone, then go to unlock it, then I get the N7 lock screen with the sliding rewind and fast forward, which I don't mind as long as it can play with me checking my email and I can rewind it fast forward. This looks like a killer music player door. It, it has never failed me. I will say that. I have honestly had it on my phone for months. It is the only music player that has, that has never failed me except for Google Music. You know what I mean? Because Google Music, it just part of my French, but it's very limited. It's good, but it's quite limited. <laughs> gotcha. Awesome. I like this one, man. I might actually download this one. Okay. Um, 
I actually had one more just to throw out there. Uh, Eric encountered this. This is a baby app. This is a baby service. It's a little child. You can't expect a child to always listen to you and do what you want it to do. It's growing. It's going to mature. It's going to get better. Right now, you can't really, truly rely on it, but it's cool, and I think it's going to grow into something very cool. It's called Zello Walkie Talkie Loud Talks. <laughs> Zello. Which is a horrible name. <laughs> but it makes you think of Jello. I know. But well, here's Jello. the thing that here's the thing that yeah, I like. Jello. About. Hey tell to get group messaging, you gotta pay money. I tried Voxer. If there's a way to do group <clears> messaging, I couldn't figure it out. Zello does group messaging and you can get a Windows installable that works in Linux just fine. And you can have this also on the desktop. So you can do group conferencing on your iPhone, on your iPad, stay on a Android tablet or on a Windows desktop or a Linux desktop with Wine. Here's a little trick. Create the channel on the app and you get the choice to make a dynamic room. If you make it on the Android device, at least it will only be a regular room. Only five people can join. Dynamic rooms, it seems like unlimited people can join. So oh, that okay. is needed if you want to do that. It's smooth. It's seamless. It literally starts to stream what I'm saying to the group or the other person as soon as I start talking. Hmm. So it's like the conversation is almost in real time. It's so close. Ah. Zello. Zello. Yeah, I got to say, I was on a group call with, with Door the other day, and we were testing this app out, and... For a while, it was really working well. I mean, it, was, it was going pretty smooth, and, and then, then something happened. I, I think we got too many people in the room, maybe. Something happened, and it all yeah. kind of fell apart, but it was good for a while. It really was neat. Huh. Zello is the new name of Loud Talks. Oh, loud, it used to be called Loud Talks. I got you. Gotcha. Yeah, Zello yeah. is a better name than Loud Talks. I do mm -hmm. agree. Um, yeah, like Eric said, and then it went down, and then for hours, I couldn't connect to the server. So it needs to grow up. It needs to mature. It needs to get more solid. They need to understand the word scale. <laughs> and then it might be usable on a wide amount of people. It's got tons of downloads and great reviews. When it works, it works great. Huh. And I'll say, I can't stand TeamSpeak because it uh, gets an unshareable lock on my mic. So I can't be listening to a TeamSpeak, go to another app, hit the mic, and speak dictation so I, I i can't stand it for that mumble is a little bit flaky hey tell is only a single person and only in portrait mode so when i'm driving i literally got to do this <laughs> which ain't good Turn my head <laughs> voxer never seems to notify me when there's messages this is the only one that notifies me promptly can easily go into landscape and does group messaging awesome that's free and G. Gotta love both of those things. It's now, important. Steve, Dor, will that you said it works on the on the PC and Linux and Android and iPhones and iPads. Is it white <laughs> iPads too, or just the black <laughs> iPads? Uh, honestly, I can't answer that question because I will not own one of them. And, and it wouldn't right. let you be logged in on oh. two devices at the same time either. Yes, you're right. And, and I, I won't know about the white iPod thing either. Right, but Steve, I gotta tell you how I really pissed off my wife. Uh, stopped at five guys, I think it was. I don't know so for lunch because now I'm also lunch boy, also driver boy. Right, uh, not a man boy. I go pick her up lunch. Did a boom. I go to the thing. They tell me you can friend a week, win a free iPad. It was Taco Bell iPad two. You can win a free iPad two if you fill out the thing on the back online. So I go drop drop off the food and I say, hey, look, if you go on the back of this receipt and you go online. You can fill out to win a free iPad too. And if you do, I can put it on eBay. And she's like, excuse me, what if I want it? I said, well, then you can keep it and we can just call it your birthday present. <laughs> uh, yeah. Didn't go over too well. Damn, man. It's like, like, at least you told it how it was. Well, you know, I'd accidentally spill something on it or it, all I got to do is really just give it to my four-year-old for a couple minutes and turn my back he jumps on everything really <laughs> doesn't matter what it is it's <laughs> like he has an affliction I, I must stand on this i must stand on this no matter what it is <laughs> that's awesome oh, and boxer does have an update thank you paul and the uh 
chat literally less than two hours ago they updated boxer so hopefully they fixed the notification bug yeah that would be that would be definitely nice because i know i've talked to doran haytel and boxer i like the idea of haytel but i hate haytel only for the simple fact of the, the the time constraints on it for each message 45 uh, seconds yeah. i mean you can sit there and keep hitting it which I tend to just kind of press it every couple of seconds just to continue my message. And I don't like pressing it. I, like Foxer, you can just set it up to just push it and let go, talk, 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 push it, stop. Uh. But like Door, and it was kind of funny because I, I swear I got notifications when I first got it. Same and here. then and then Dora was saying, dude, I'm not getting notifications. And I was like, oh, that's funny. I am. And the next thing I know, I'm not getting them anymore. So On Voxer? Yeah. It is a sweet app. I like it a lot. Huh. That's weird. I just I wish I had a... That's the one thing, man. When I'm up for a phone, I got to do research on microphones because my phone sounds like crap. Really? Yeah, and I thought maybe it was just like a bad mic on this specific phone, but because I have three of them, I've tried <laughs> them all, and they all suck. <laughs> Get another one. Get four. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You guys want to do emails? I sure. Love emails. All righty. Here we go. First email is from... A person whose name is Rob. He says, I don't remember who I heard talk on Podnuts about OBD2 tool that hooks to your phone or laptop. Um, what is that? I know who it was. That's Bluetooth, right? OBD2? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it might have been you that talked about it. So I thought I might ask. This is to you, Doris. came to you. Yeah, I know. So I thought I might ask if that was you. Um, I got a new Bluetooth OBD2 scanner that will connect to an Android phone and Bluetooth PC. I'm trying to connect it with my Android phone, and I want to see what program you use because my phone will connect to it but will not read any data from it. If you want to talk about it on an Android app show, it would be something I think others would find interesting. Very cool. Um, we did talk about it on this show, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I'm not, I, I, I know we did, but it wasn't me. It was, I, I, it was, it was well, I... Was it you? My friends, yeah, yeah I, was oh. I brought an app that uh, uh, my friend of mine has, and I don't know, yeah, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it basically plugs into his OBD, and then right. it does all kinds of stuff, more than just scanning for codes. It does scan for uh, error codes on your engine, and uh, check engine lights. It'll tell you if a turn signal's blown out. It'll let you. It'll allow you to flash your turn signals from your Android phone. Mm. It will allow you to. Um, Go down the road, it will give you a quarter mile time, your zero to 60. It'll give you your horsepower, everything from an OBD2 um, plug in. Bluetooth straight, to, and it's, it was rather expensive, if I remember right. Really? Um, I, I'm going to say it was only available on Amazon. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. He got I it. See. I mean, you got to order the part, you know, the Bluetooth OBD2 reader that came with this app. I mean, they, they kind of work hand in hand. Man, I'm going to have to go back and look through the spreadsheet and find out what it is. I'll do that while maybe we're reading the next one and I'll see if I can come back with it. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I tried to figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. Next email we got, it looks like it's from the developer of an app. He would like us to review it. He says, hey, Steve, longtime AA fan. Please review Maniana, Maniana, M-A-N-I-A-N-A to-do list. The best simple to-do list app in the world. Now, this is the developer's claim. Just so you know. It's absolutely free, zero permissions, open source, excellent usability, simple to use, two kinds of widgets, and rich customization. As you can see from the Android market rating, people that tried it loved it, but this little gem requires more exposure. I <laughs> love how he words this <laughs> email. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get to check it out yet, but if anybody wants to mess around with it, um, let us know what you think about it. If anybody here on the show wants to play with it, let us know how it is next week. Okay, I'm installing it right now. Mani Maniana to do list by uh, task list by tail. Mm -hmm. Tell okay. Diane. Okay. Yep. That's the one. I'm getting it. Thank you, Tal. We will see how that goes. Ah, oh, here it is. I found it, Eric. Did Torque, you? Okay. Torque Pro. Yeah. Yep. That sounds that Torque Pro. And here's the reason I couldn't find it. I was looking for ODB and two L's as two, like the rest of the world does it, they put o -D -O -B -D space the number two. And a space? Wow, that's even worse. All right. On AAA number 74, it's from Anthony. 
on AAA number 74, Sean Johnson mentioned that he could record phone call conversations.